Hello everyone, I am Swati, Assistant Professor, Department of Nutrition and Dietetics, Kaysar College of Arts and Science Government, Tirchangur. In this video, we are going to say about basics and research methodology unit 1. Research. Research in common parlance which refers to a search for knowledge. You can also define research as a scientific and systematic search for pertinent information on a specific topic. In fact, research is an art of scientific investigation. Definition. The Advanced Learner's Dictionary of Current English has defined research as a careful investigation of, or inquiry, especially through search for new facts in any branch of knowledge. Redmond and Mori has defined research as a systematized effort to gain new knowledge. According to Clifford Woody, research comprises defining and redefining problems, formulating hypotheses, collecting, organizing and evaluating data, making deductions and reaching conclusions. At last, testing the conclusions to determine whether they fit the formulating hypothesis. Objectives of research to gain familiarity with the phenomenon or to achieve new insights into it, to portray accurately the characteristics of a particular individual, situation, or a group, to determine the fre frequency with which something occurs or with which it is associated with something else, to test the hypothesis of a causal relationship between variables. Motivation in research desire to get a research degree, desire to face the challenges in solving the unsolved problems, desire to get intellectual joy of doing some creative work. Desire to be of service to society, desire to get respectability. Types of research Descriptive versus analytical. The main purpose of descriptive research is the description of the state of affairs as it exists at present. Analytical research The researcher has to use facts or information already available and analyze these to make critical evaluation of the material. Applied versus fundamental Applied research aims at finding a solution for an immediate problem in industrial or business organization. Whereas fundamental research is mainly concerned with generalizations or with the formulation of a theory. Quantitative versus qualitative. Quantitative is based on the measurement of quantity or amount. Uh, it is expressed in the terms of quantity. Qualitative research is concerned with the qualitative phenomenon uh, that is, it is related to or involving quality or kind. Conceptual versus empirical. Conceptual research is related to some abstract ideas or theory. Empirical research relies on the experience or observation alone. Some other types of research, one time research is confined to a single time period, longitudinal research is carried on over several time periods. Research can be field setting research, laboratory research, simulation research which depends upon the environment. Various other types of research include clinical or diagnostic, historical, decision oriented, conclusion oriented. Uh, research methods versus research methodology. Research methods, uh, it is grouped into three groups. In the first group, which include uh, the methods which are con concerned with the collection of data. Second group consists of those uh, statistical techniques. Third group consists of those methods which are used to evaluate the accuracy of the results obtained. Research methodology it is a way to systematically solve the research problem. It may be understood as a science of studying how research is done scientifically. We study the various steps that are generally adopted by a researcher in studying his research problem along with the logic behind them. The scope of research methodology is wider than that of research methods. Criteria of a good research Purpose of the research should be clearly defined and com common concepts be used. The research procedure used should be described in sufficient detail to permit another researcher to repeat the research for further advancement. Procedural design of the research should be carefully planned. The researcher should report with complete frankness flaws in procedural uh, design. The analysis of data should be sufficiently adequate to reveal its significance. Conclusions should be confined to those justified by the data of the research. Uh, greater confidence in research is warranted if the research is experienced, has a good reputation in research and is a person of integrity. Thank you.